Welcome to the Homelands Minecraft server. Uh, basic rules are simply leave other people's stuff alone. Uh, no griefing, no taking other people's items, no building other people's lands. Um, and otherwise have fun. When you first enter you'll start about here at a place we call Home Village, which is one of the two villages we maintain. Uh, you can come back and visit later. Your best bet is to head over to the rail station here. If you're really desperate, we have wheat fields. These are public access, although you need to replant them after you harvest them. You need more seeds. There's additional seeds and hoes in here. So keep those growing for other people. We'll come over here to the rail station. Use an iron door so that the villagers don't get in. It automatically shuts itself. And we come up here to the rail station. And there is a minecart dispenser, so you can get a minecart. Keep your minecart with you. Uh, the dispensers are for emergencies and new people, not for general use. And say hi to my doggies. Hi, doggies. The way the rail system works is there's a set of train stations. At each train station, there's some powered rail in front. That's where you put your minecart. And you get in, and then there will be some buttons to send you to various destinations. From the home village, the only place that's currently active is Standing Way Station. So we'll go ahead and click that. And each line is color-coded. So this is the yellow-blue line. Uh, for unclaimed land, as long as we're traveling along, all of this is unclaimed. For the home village, the desert at the home village over to the river is reserved for the village. But all of this land, except for the actual rail, itself is unclaimed. Over there is the homestead Selenia, which is currently occupied, so the lines around there are claimed. But all of this over here is currently unused. Up to about here, we are getting to the settled lands. There's a mining operation here and a continuation on the other side here. Past that, we start uh, my lands. There's some torches here somewhere that mark the boundary. It's basically here over to some water that's just on the other side of this uh, wooded ridge. And it can choose up over here with some sheep farms we'll look at later. And the floating city Tafares, which is really kind of a park now, but eventually it'll be a city. And here we come into Standing Wave Station. Now, if you were continuing on to some other destination, you wouldn't get out of your cart. You would simply press another button and continue on. But we'll go ahead and get out because this is part of the startup tour. Take your cart with you. So this is the largest train station with eight destinations you can select. And you can see there we have Selenia and Tafares. And there's the home village line. Uh, Standing Wave also has another access. If we come over here and go up the ladder, there is another portal. You can feel free to take a couple of fire resistance potions out of here if you want. The most useful part of standing away for you initially is the Sparkle Mart, which is this large building directly next to Standing Wave. It has three sections. The first section here is the alchemy section. It has brewing stands, water, brewing supplies, basic brewing supplies. Uh, so you can make potions here of, vari of various sorts. The more exotic ones you'll have to get additional ingredients. At the other end is Thaumaturgy and Secure Storage. So in here we have an enchanting table for you to use, maxed out with bookshelves. Over here we have a discards box. Uh, any items in here are free to take. This is where you can discard magic items you don't want. And here's an ender chest for your secure storage needs. Uh, there's ender chests at most of the rail stations now. and We'll be installing them at all of them in the near future. So you'll be able to get to your, your ender chest supplies anywhere from any rail station. This is the public stores area of the Sparkle Mart. So this is all public access. Don't hoard or just grab stuff to grab it. But if you have a use for it, feel free to help yourself. For instance, if you want to build a stone house, we have a bit of stone here. We have cobblestone. A place to go first is over here with leather and wool. So you can build yourself a bed, leather armor with the stone and where did that go over here logs you can make yourself stone tools 
There's a food chest. You can get some food to keep you uh, from starving. Bow and arrows. You can equip yourself. So with that you can get fairly well equipped pretty much straight off. Uh, and then go adventuring or building. Uh, if you want a place to stay, we're working a hotel here. It's not quite done. There is another hotel at Alice Springs uh, with two floors with four rooms each. So you can pick one of those rooms. They have beds and chests, uh, and you can stay there for a while uh, to get a nice spawning place. What else do we have? So let's go up here. We'll take a look around at the central lands. This is really the hub of the server with the train station and uh, lands here almost entirely settled. We talked about Tafares. Over here you can't quite see is some mountains. Those mountains are Kaliningrad which are claimed. Uh, most of this land here across the river is not claimed. Uh, that's Metalfoot's house. He claims this a little bit. This area here is Sparky Boys along the river and up that way toward Alice Springs. My lands are basically here and this ridge here over to some water just in the side and a few islands down along the Alice Springs line. Uh, let's go back. Here's a sheep farm. The sheep farm is public access. There's a chest roughly there with wool in it. Don't ever take the last block of wool, but any excess feel free to use. There are also shears in there. You can go and shear your own wool. We have all 16 colors available. So you can have fun with that. Uh, and that's about it. So come on in, get yourself equipped, find some uh, unclaimed land. It's Minecraft, so there's never a shortage of that. And have fun. Thanks.